Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So storage, it's one of them things that you don't really want to have to do, but you kind of have to, especially if you do any kind of photo and or video work. You need a lot of storage and storage can be expensive, but I think I found one of the best in the price range of about £70 and that is this, the SanDisk Extreme SSD. This is a beautiful beautiful little machine as i said it is an ssd so it's nice thin and small the storage capacity goes from about 256 gigs to about two terabytes this one i have in my hand is about 500 gigabytes it's not on the big side it's not on the small side but this one this one i think is the best because you're paying about 76 pounds for 500 gigs why why, why would you not do that like really, there are very, very few downsides to this that I'll get to in now, a minute. Now I actually use this SSD. I use it to edit off of because the, the Mac behind me hasn't got that much storage. It's only got 256 gigs. And by the time you're finished actually editing a file, you can, I'm looking at at least a 30, 40, 56 gig file. And that fills up pretty quickly. So. I edit off of this, I keep files on this for a short term, and then after a little while, they go on the big boy, the big eight terabyte hard drive. So it's a really, really good little device, and that's what I mean, it's little. This is 500 gigs, I've got a hard drive back there. Not the eight terabyte one, I've got another 500 gig hard drive. It's a lot bigger than this, it's a two and a half inch drive, but like seriously this is the size of my palm this is tiny i love how small this thing is like really and it's got a nice rubbery grip to it so you know that when you've got hold of it you're not gonna drop it it's 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 just nice in the hands it feels comfortable the materials it's made of are comfortable now what i will say is it does start to wear after a little while but that is to be expected if you look just closely at my one you will see that it's actually starting to wear out on the front where it says sand disc but that's probably from just where i've been using it too much but that is totally fine with me i don't really mind it's only really a label i'm not really bothered about it so yeah now i did originally buy the sand disc extreme for my ipad pro because i was originally editing on my ipad and i wanted a place to just place my videos temporarily because i wanted them off of the sd card but i didn't want to have them on the ipad and i wanted somewhere that had more storage than yeah so i brought this because i do use an ipad pro it means i'm very kind of limited in a way to what i can and can't use with it because well you know this is apple so that means i had to find something that fit the ipad and that's exactly what this device comes with a usb-c to usb-c cable now Eh, this cable is very 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 short like this is ridiculously short you can buy longer ones obviously but i would suggest you probably do especially if you have something like this i mean this is great for space saving especially if you want to chuck this in your bag and you're going out somewhere for i don't know say two or three days and you're using this on your ipad or your or your android tablet or samsung tablet whatever and you just want to plug this in and back up some photos you've taken. That is exactly what this SSD is designed for. It even has an IP rating. Now, it is only IP55, which I'll put on screen right now, but nonetheless an IP rating. Now, probably one of the biggest downsides is while you are moving big, big files or a lot of files that are probably about, I don't know, say 15, 20 gigabytes sort of thing, this SSD can get kind of warm. I wouldn't say hot, but it can get warm. I wouldn't worry about it. They normally have their own inbuilt chips to keep their temperatures at a good rate. So I wouldn't really worry about it. But some people have complained that this SSD does get hot. But I haven't seen it get hot. I've only ever seen this thing get warm. So there's that but if it does get warm it won't be warm for very long because it does have speeds of up to 555 megabits per second which is really really rather nice to be fair and of course it will work on every single platform from pc to mac to ipad to android phones i use this on my mac my android phone my ipad everything that i need to use this for i use it for and it works perfect this has got to be the best 76 pounds i've ever spent anyway guys thanks for joining me in this video i'll see you in the next one
Oh, just as the battery goes.